Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech channel and today we will talk about the sitemaps in CRM. So if we talk about the sitemaps, sitemaps is uh, just an area in which you can get the basic uh, controls and navigation links. Okay, so this is the sitemap that is available as uh, out of the box solution here. Here you can see that there are different types of uh, areas here. These main areas that you can see in colorful manner are areas. You can specify your own area here. And this is the sub area. These all are sub areas here. And collectively it's a component that is known as sitemap. So you can change the sitemap. You can customize the sitemap as per your requirement in your uh, whenever you are creating an unmanaged solution as your new solution so for that purpose what you have to do uh, you have to go into settings and you have to go into the customizations and customize the system because you are customizing the system here and in the, in the customization the, of the system you will go into the client extensions and here you can see that there is an option of sitemap here so you have to double click it and here the default sitemap is now available in editing mode so here you can see that these are main controls that you can say these are the areas and uh, if we talk about these blue uh, headings these are uh, groups and uh, if we talk about sub areas these all are sub areas so it's very important that you may have better understanding of what is area, what is group and what is sub area. So let's say we want to add an any entity here. Uh, let's say I want to add an entity. I will click on uh, sales. And in sales I can add uh, any uh, sub area. So I will click on sub area. And in that sub area I can enter the any type of entity here so let's say I want to click on entity and I want to show any entity let's say I want to show an entity of account here for uh, just we are give, uh, taking an example and I will click on save after saving it I am going to publish it so after publishing it uh, it must be visible so I'm going to save and close it. After that, I'm going to uh, publish the customization of sitemap. And after doing so, I'm going to refresh the page and validate whether my sales sitemap has been updated. Okay, the new sub area of entity that is accounts is now appearing here. And I can click on account to uh, navigate to that part. So in this way you can develop your areas that are your modules and then in that areas you can uh, specify groups and in that groups you can uh, make your subgroups in a sitemap. So they are uh, beneficial for uh, users to quickly navigate to their desired location. So in this way you can do so. Uh, you can play with your uh, sitemaps. I thank you all for watching this short tutorial.